Merfolk. The Merfolk people are a vibrantly diverse group, made up of all aquatic-based demifauna. To outsiders, the term merfolk is no different than the term mermaid, which refers to the beautiful songstresses with the upper half of a woman and the lower half of a fish. During the war with Zaquarius, the combined tribes of the sea fought under the command of King Thalso, a mighty merman skilled in both magic and martial arts. When he joined the Demifauna in their campaign, he took a role as tactician and logistic commander, using the power to escort supplies and troops safely across the sea. This led to some discontent by the others in the Demifauna Alliance, who considered the merfolk cowards for not sending troops to fight. The fact of the matter was that no matter how skilled or powerful Thalso's troops were, on land, they were next to useless. With Zaquarius's defeat came events beyond the predictions of King Thalso. The war with the humans he expected, but not that it would rage more than one or two years as the demi-fauna repopulated. The curse changed that. While the remaining males died not knowing their value, the humans kept growing in number, bursting from their cradle with blade in hand. What's more is the mana blight plague that changed their outlook drastically, since humans couldn't reach the depths of the merfolk cities and villages, the king planned to withhold his people to research and plan to deal with the waning males. It might have worked if not for the emergence of the Chimera. The sea was never a safe place. Only cities ward off a nosy predator and there would always be exceptions. When the creatures of the sea fused, merging traits and removing weakness, this gave rise to gigantic and dangerous foes including one which attacked the merfolk city and devoured its population, including King Thalso. The creature was named Vasiloctonos by the survivors, forever scared as they watched it enter the abyss. The world was changing rapidly. With the sea tribes in chaos, many didn't make it. A few tribes returned to their nomadic ways and adapted quickly enough to build up another small civilization utilizing the Chimera. This tribe found a gentle chimera that was so large it scared away Vasiloctonos. At least that's what the merfolk told their daughters to help them sleep at night. Unlike the other demifauna, the merfolk spent the least amount of time fighting the humans during the chaos. Some even forgot the subjugation wars were going on. When they were able to, they returned to land only to find the demifauna had lost. All those years of war, of sacrifice, of duty, was for naught. Making contact with humans again was tough. Though they didn't fight them, their king played part in the defeat of Zaquarius. However, a war between them couldn't and wouldn't be successful for either side. Though humans had much vitriol, they offered a small truce if the merfolk denounced the late King Thalso, pray for Zaquarius's forgiveness, and provide tribute whenever they enter human territory. In return, they would have the means to repopulate. For many, these terms were more than fair. When the slime mimic war started, it wasn't taken seriously. The merfolk thought it was just another surface problem until they were being attacked from all sides, once more driving the merfolk population down and having to rely on more human aid. When the mermaid Corali was knighted a dame, this was a hope that maybe the truce between humans and merfolk would be more favorable. However, it only extended to the mermaids, as she was her people's representative. The other various merfolk took this sourly. While other demifauna grew more united with the dames, the merfolk divided more and more. It took the mermaid dame all her charm and influence to keep the peace and the random tribes united. However, the more she did, the more the rumors of her being a second Thalso creep into the people's ear. One does hope that history does not repeat. The merfolk of today are a diverse group of people. Many consider them to be partiers, tricksters, drunks, and bard adjacents, due to both the mermaid Dame Corali and the natural singing gifts of many of the merfolk. Sailors and those who work with merfolk know them to be hard-working and resourceful people who, despite the horrors of the deep, are eager to tame and domesticate the dangerous chimera which plague them.